Let us see the Hadoop cluster. I have set up four node Hadoop cluster. One name node. And three data nodes. Name node is running on a dedicated Ubuntu machine. Ubuntu version is 12.04. Data nodes are running on virtual machines. I have created three virtual machines using Oracle VirtualBox. It is open source. So you can always download and install it to create virtual machines. In each virtual machine Ubuntu 12.04 is installed. Check my blog on how to set up four node Hadoop cluster on Ubuntu machines. For training purpose I am using cloud era distribution of Hadoop. That is, CDH5 is used. Recommended configuration is, for name node use 8GB RAM, 30GB hard disk, and dual or quad core processor. For data nodes use 4GB RAM, 50GB hard disk, and dual or quad core processor. You can either use single node cluster or multi node cluster. Let's see the Cloud Era Manager. Here is the home page of Cloud Era Manager. All the components in Cloud Era, like Flume, HBase, HDFS, Hive, MapReduce, etc. are provided as a service. You can always start a service, stop a service, and restart a service. Similarly the cluster could also be started, stopped, and restarted. Also you can add a new service just like all the services added here. For example, you can add Spark. Spark runs on top of HDFS. So HDFS is selected as its dependency. You can choose the node on which Spark Master has to run. By default, name node is chosen to run the Spark Master. You can change it to some other node just by selecting that node. Let's not alter the default configuration and keep it as it is. Similarly you can select the data nodes to run Spark Workers. By default, all the data nodes are selected to run Spark Workers. You can change this configuration also. You can uncheck Data Node 3 and let only Data Node 1 and Data Node 2 run Spark Workers. Let's not alter the default configuration and keep it as it is. This is how you can configure a new service in Cloud Era Manager. And it is very simple. Let us not install Spark and get back to HDFS which is our first component in Hadoop. HDFS also runs as a service in Cloud Era. 
I have configured one name node, one secondary name node, and three data nodes. Like all services, HDFS can also be started, stopped, and restarted. You can also make changes to the configuration of any service. For example, you can change the block size of HDFS. Default block size is 128 megabyte. You can change it to 64 megabyte. If you change block size, existing files block size will still remain 128 megabytes. Only newly created files block size will be 64 megabyte. Let's not alter the default configuration and keep it as it is. That was about Cloud Era Manager. Let us browse HDFS file system. You can browse HDFS through web browser. This page gives you an overview of the entire cluster. Cluster is identified by the cluster ID. The cluster has block pool ID. Let's not worry about this. It will be clear when I talk about HDFS Federation. This cluster has 9,468 files and directories. It has 8,131 blocks. So in total, there are 17,599 file system objects in the cluster. All these object details are stored in the name node's main memory. So if there are more objects, more memory is consumed in name node. Total capacity of this cluster is around 100 gigabyte. Distributed used space is around 60 gigabyte. Non-distributed used space is around 27 gigabyte. Remaining space is around 14 gigabyte. So, statistics of the entire cluster is available on this page. Also, this cluster has three live nodes. It means there are three active data nodes in the cluster. You can also see that the number of dead nodes in the cluster is zero. It means all the data nodes are active and none is down. That was an overview of the entire cluster. Let us see some details about data nodes. As said earlier, I have set up three data nodes. All are in service. It means, all data nodes are active. Each data node disk capacity is around 33.5 gigabytes. Distributed used space is around 20 gigabyte in each data node. Non-distributed used space is around 9 gigabyte in each data node. Free space is around 5 gigabyte in each data node. Around 8,000 blocks are allocated in each data node. So, statistics of each data node is available on this page. In fact, each data node send this information in heartbeat to the name node.
and this information is used by name node during block allocation and cluster load balancing. That was details about the data nodes in the cluster. Let us see what's there in Startup Progress. Startup Progress gives details about FS image and edit log. Like, which FS image is loaded into name node's main memory. And which edit log file is replayed. If you recall from my earlier session, you will find that FS image and edit log will give the entire file system namespace. After loading FS image and edit log, name node will wait for block reports from the data nodes. After it receives enough report to run the cluster, it will come out of save mode. Once name node comes out of save mode, both read and write operation is allowed on the cluster. In the save mode only read operation is allowed. That was all about startup progress. Now we shall browse the actual file system. This is the root directory of the HDFS file system. HDFS file system is similar to Linux file system. It has three directories. HBase, temp, and user directory. HDFS user is the root user. Let us browse the user directory. All users are created under the user directory. For each user a home directory is created. This cluster has Flume directory, HDFS directory, HD user directory, Hive directory, Uzi directory, etc. Let us browse HD user directory. This is the home directory of HD user. Only HD user and root user have write permission on this directory. Let us now check how a file is stored in HDFS. Here file name is Yelp underscore academic underscore data set underscore review dot JSON. File size is around 1 gigabyte. Replication is 3. So around 3 gigabyte of space is allocated for this file. Block size is 128 megabyte. HD user is the owner of this file. Only HD user and root user has write permission on this file. All these information is actually the metadata of this file and it is stored in name node's main memory. Let us see block information of this file. This file is divided into 8 blocks. Each block has a block ID. It is unique across the cluster. This block belongs to this block pool ID. Let us not worry about it. It will be clear when I speak about HDFS Federation. This block has generation stamp. It is used to know the block version. This block size is 128 megabyte. It is stored in data node 1, data node 2 and data node 3. Similarly you will find details about all the blocks. As said earlier, last block size is always less than equal to 128 megabyte. Last block size is around 100 megabyte. Actually all these block information is sent from data nodes to name node in the block report. This is how files are stored in HDFS. 
That was about the Hadoop cluster.